Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Today, I'm especially excited to have the founder of Mastermind Talks, Jason Gaynard. Several people I've interviewed have raved about you and how amazing your events are. Every time I talk to them, they, your name comes up over and over. So I had to have you on, Jason. Mastermind, for anyone who doesn't know, Mastermind Talks is an annual invite-only event. It's designed for elite entrepreneurs. They have top entrepreneurs who both speak and all the attendees are elite entrepreneurs also. The event you know, features people such as Tim Ferriss, Mark Echo, many more. He started Mastermind Talks after building up Tickets Canada to $6 million in revenue. In the end, left him a quarter million dollars in debt. Jason, thank you so much for joining me. Dude, I'm excited. I didn't know you were a doctor, so I feel even more privileged to, <laughs> to, to be interviewed by you. <laughs> You're welcome. You know, obviously, this is Inspired Insider. So my question is, a moment when you overcame a low point, what was that moment that you overcame a low point or huge challenge, and what did you do to push forward? Dude, that's my whole story. <laughs> I know, I know. I, <laughs> um. Yeah, I, I guess I, just one. Obviously, there were a lot of low points sure. along the way. A lot of highs. There was a lot of highs too. In yes. But I, no, I mean, for me, again, the landing a quarter million dollars in cash debt was probably the lowest um, because my sense of fulfillment and meaning was tied to the business. And now I no longer had the business. So I was like, now what? It was just a really miserable time. And the importance of health, again, in the sense that and it, it sounds kind of cheesy and people don't focus on it. But again, a lot of entrepreneurs build their businesses at the expense of their health, at the expense of the relationship with their, their spouse and that kind of stuff. And um, I, yeah, for me, how I got out of that was morning rituals, the power of morning rituals. That was, to me, was a was a game changer because I couldn't control, as an entrepreneur, you can't control your industry, you can't control all that much, uh, but I could control my mornings. And having that control, just it, it, there's a ton of benefits to morning rituals. And uh, yeah, that was definitely what put my life back on track. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have to ask that, not to sum up everything in three no, minutes, but yeah. I want to clip it at the end so that I just have a separate, a little separate post. And, sure. Um, do you want me to do it again? No, no, okay. no. Yeah. I was just, I'm just saying, you know, this is raw. I don't edit anything. Okay. So, uh, but I love your reaction. Like, that was my whole story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, no, I, I couldn't think of anything. So people else, are going like... to have to watch the interview. But, you know, just some one thing that they can take action on at the end, which is do something with your morning ritual. Um, is huge. Yeah, to, to, to me, that was been one of the biggest things. And there's all mm -hmm. kinds of, you see blog posts of like, you know, what successful people do before you wake up and that kind of stuff. Like it, it's kind of, it's it's pretty common that a lot mm -hmm. of people wake up early and it's not necessarily waking up early, but there's a, a certain portion of your day where you're not reacting to stimulus. That's the biggest problem is people wake up and the first mm -hmm. thing they grab is not their spouse, they grab their cell phone and they start opening Facebook and email and they start reacting and it's, mm -hmm. it's a disaster from that point forward. Yes. So it's living with, it's working with intention and living with intention and having that time of day where you're really going to put out quality work. Yeah. Jason, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Dude, I, I hope you have me back one day. For sure. All right. Thanks. Thanks. Man.